What is up, YouTube? I was just sitting there this morning, having a little look through Facebook Marketplace. Ooh, what have we got right now? Having a little look through and bang, fucking uh, having a look to see if anyone locally has any DVDs. And some bloke, six minutes away, is selling a box of over 100 DVDs for 20 bucks. Sounds too good to be true, but 20 bucks. I had a little look at the picture. The picture, when I zoomed in, I could see what I could see, but there was some TV series in there and all that as well. Looked, It looked all right to me. It looked good enough. There was some Kraptashians in there and it looked like there was a lot of series of them in there. So I'm going to get 20 bucks out now. So it's the next day now, it's the next day. Now I picked up that lot of uh, box of DVDs yesterday of the Kraptashians and uh, all the other junk that was in there. I'll go through that with you and uh, we'll see what we can make for the kitty. But then I found on uh, Facebook Marketplace, I found on Facebook Marketplace uh, someone else was doing uh, DVDs for a dollar each. I don't mind a dollar each, especially when they're TV series. We can bulk them up, lot them up, but there was a lot of complete TV series there as well. Now from what I can see from the photos, uh, it looked pretty fucking sweet and looked like a damn good deal, dollar each. Uh, it was an hour and 40 minutes away from my house. I wouldn't have driven out an hour and 40 minutes if it wasn't worth it. I got a feeling I found a gold mine. Will it sell? It sold before. I'll show you when I show it all. Kind of basically, this is a ride along and a show and tell. But just to break it down before we get home and do the show and tell and show you everything, because there's a lot of DVDs. I went there just to grab the Pacific uh, ones that I really wanted. Um, and then there was like all these other TV series there as well, I was hoping was still there. I know there was about between 150 to 200 DVDs altogether give or take that 50, um, so it was between 150, 200 DVDs. They wanted 200 bucks for them all. When she started counting them all, and I heard her, when they got up to, when she was counting and she got up to like 140 of them, I just said, we take 120 for all of them. There's a lot of, there is a lot of DVDs there that I won't get nothing for, which I'll sell back at the markets for a dollar each, which is not a problem, or 50 cents each. But it's all the TV series and all that that I'm going to bulk up, and all the Disney that I'm going to bulk up. Anyway, let's go to the show and tell room. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. Alright, the ride along has turned in to a show and tell, so let's do this. Let's do this. Whoa, we got so many DVDs, we're gonna do it! Come on! Alright, I got so much from this dude now. Uh, I And the next lot as well. So, I went through everything and priced it up. And um, from what I've paid, I'm gonna get back a decent kitty. And I'm not going to show you all the shit that wasn't worth anything. The shit that wasn't worth anything, I'm going to lot up and uh, sell it at the markets, because I'm going to do a markets run soon, for 50 cents each DVD. People will pick them up 50 cents each. Easy. Even if they don't know what they're worth, they'll pick them up for 50 cents as a risk. They can take them, because they're not worth fuck all. So, I spent $20 on this box. Let me show you the box. So, 20 bucks on this box of DVDs. And they're not all in there. They're not all in there. Because I took out 54, 54 single DVDs for the markets. If I sell them at 50 cents each, that's already $27 in the kitty. 
27 bucks from those 54. So I've already made seven dollars basically, seven bucks already. So let me uh, take you through uh, this first box and then we've got that second lot as well that I got from uh, that other uh, Facebook Marketplace one which is fucking awesome. So stick around to the end because there's some good shit. But let's just go through. This is all DVDs. This is all DVDs. Now, have you heard of this Nata Na Into Nasha? Into Nasha Nasha? Into Nasha Nasha! Alright, so... I didn't know that these were going to be in the box. I thought this was just going to be all Kardashian stuff and I was going to have some TV series Kardashian stuff to lot up. And I was happy to pay 20 bucks, but I got a lot out of this fucking box. So, this, uh... New Nasha Japanese cartoon that ended up being from volume 8 to volume 21 8 to 21 I'm not gonna put these down in the uh, in the find me another series pile no 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 I'm gonna lock these up straight away um, tell me if I'm undercutting myself if anyone knows these animes but uh, I think I'm just gonna put them at 60 bucks so this is volume 8 to 21 60 bucks plus they'll pay their postage I'm thinking that's a pretty damn good price. I'm thinking uh, someone's gonna take them. Uh, maybe I'll lot them a little bit higher, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, but 60 bucks I'm putting in the kitty. Bang, right there. Didn't even know that these were gonna be in the box. Uh, there was this CD in there, Rave Anthems. Uh, Rave, An Rave Anthems on comps. Um, says it's been selling for 15 to 20 dollars, so I'll cut, undercut every motherfucker out there. Uh, I'll put that at 15 bucks. Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, what did I say for that? 15 bucks, this actually sells if you see a Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman for a dollar, pick it up. It sells for 15 bucks in the kitty every day. Uh, classic collectibles, uh, Cats and Phantom of the Opera, 10 bucks right there. Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls and Pet Detective number one and two, that's 10 bucks, they'll sell for 10 bucks, plus they'll pay their two dollars postage. Uh, Slipknot, I'll get 10 bucks for Slipknot right there. Guy Sebastian, he's got a CD in there as well. Uh, music CD in there as well. Uh, I could have put him in the markets for a uh, 50 cent one, but he'll go for eight bucks plus they'll pay for two dollars postage, so I'll chuck it in there. You gotta have some cheekies sometimes. This one is still sealed. Uh, Cine, Cine Parkour, uh, Cine Parkour, something like that. Anyway, skateboarding one, just thirty-five dollars. This one, thirty-five bucks, it will sell. Uh, Princess Monko, Monkey, Monko, something like that. Anyway, this is still sealed. Uh, this will only go for about $15. It says $27.99 and we'll leave that on there for the uh, photos because then they'll be like, Wow, I'm getting a fucking $27.99 sealed DVD, $15. It will sell straight away. $15, bucks, thank you very much. It's all in Japan. It's all in Japanese. Same, another one with like $29.99 on it. you got to trick these motherfuckers out of buying shit. But this is... Uh, Still in plastic and all that, great by the fireflies, another one of those anime uh, Japanese ones, what are right now, $15 as well for this one, happy with that, happy with that. Uh, this skateboarding one, once as never, uh, I looked it up and I reckon I can get about 40 to 50 bucks for this and this is still sealed, um, don't ask me why, I don't know why people like skateboarding stuff and all that, but I'll take uh, 40 to 50 in the kitty, thank you very much, thank you every day of the week. Another sealed one. Fucking, he had a fair few sealed ones in here. Uh, Rat Fink. I remember having a toy of the Rat Fink when I was a kid, but I didn't realise it was actually like... Yeah, I thought it was just a toy. Uh, anyway, uh, Rat Fink. This will go for about 25 bucks. This is brand new as well, sealed. Another good one. Fucking, why do people buy all this shit and not open it and watch it? They just want to put it on their shelves or something? Uh, tic Tac to Heel Flip, uh, another skateboarding one. This one's open, so this is a $10 one because it's already open. Uh, happy with 10 bucks for that. Uh, we've got Tenacious D, this one will go for 10 bucks. It's got two discs in it. Um, I actually already own this one. This one's a pretty funny DVD. If you'd like to buy it, <laughs> come on and buy it. It's only $10. Very funny, very funny it is. Uh, Fear Factory. Uh, Fear Factory, uh, this, will, this will sell pretty fast. This will only sell for 10 bucks, but this will sell fast. Fast! This is not worth anything. This is going to be one of the ones that goes in the 50 cent thing. But if you have not seen Happy Tree Friends, watch Happy Tree Friends on YouTube. It is funny as fuck. It's violent. It's funny as fuck. Don't be a third strike motherfucker. 
and watch Happy Tree Friends. So I've got um, in here, which <laughs> fucking awesome, um, season one, two, three, four, uh, five, and six. First six seasons of Stargate, and um, this is awesome. These are complete, complete six sets. Fucking heavy. Um, I'm going to put these at 60 bucks plus they uh, pay their own postage, so happy with that. So I'm glad uh, he was a bit of a nerd and we had all this nerd stuff in there. I actually like this Stargate uh, TV series when it was on telly. Tried watching it on Netflix now and it's not as good. Uh, so this Star, Star Trek, <laughs> Star, uh, Stargate Continuum, I'll get 10 bucks for that one. I should, probably about 8 bucks to be honest, but 10 bucks. Uh, Stargate, Stargate, Stargate. Stargate Atlantis, I'll get uh, 10 bucks for that. That's season two. Season two, I'll get 10 bucks for that. And then I'm gonna lot up uh, Stargate Universe, Stargate U, Stargate Universe first season, 1.0, and the final season. I'll lot these three up for $40 because these ones go for okay money. Uh, yeah, 40 bucks for the three of them, which will sell. Um, I can't remember which one it is. I think that one goes for like $30 anyway. So, undercut every motherfucker. Oh uh, yeah, to the fun stuff. The Krapashians, Krapashians. So there was a lot of uh, Kardashians in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna lot up the TV series. I'll show you the TV series in a second because I'm gonna save those for when I find some uh, missing seasons that I've got in the middle. So they won't go in the kitty, but these ones will. Uh, this bundle lot that I've made, um, has in it uh, the fairy tale wedding. Yeah, how did that go for you? All right, Courtney and Kim take New York season one and two. We'll chuck in there as this bundle lot. Uh, Courtney and uh, Chloe take the Hamptons season one. Uh, Chloe and Lama uh, season one. Fucking definitely gonna be Lama, lame ass. This fucking this show is lame ass. And Courtney and uh, Courtney and Chloe. Courtney and Chloe and then Courtney and Kim take Miami, take Miami, they take it in Miami, uh, seasons one, two and three there, so if I lot up uh, this, just this lot, if I lot this lot up I'll get 40 bucks plus they pay for their postage, so that's alright for the uh, uh, the brain dead um, Kardashians pile that I've made there. Then I've got all these Kardashians uh, here, which I've got, shit man. Uh, season one, two, three, four, five. So I see, I've got season one to five, one to five there. Then I've also got um, he had seasons one and four again, and then I've got seasons eight, part one and two, nine, part one and two, and ten, part one and two. So I've just got to find uh, when I'm bulking up um, to put down in my uh, bulk up pile down there in the DVDs, like I've told you before told you once, I'm not going to fucking tell you again. So I just need uh, six and seven. So if I can find season six and seven, um, that'll be awesome because then I can uh, do a big fucking bulk load of uh, Kardashians and that'll be sweet. But so far, that was a lot of money from $20. Uh, I'm not going to bring up the kitty yet, but I'll give you a little fucking taste. That, if all that sells from the lots and all that, that's about $450, $455 just from that 20 bucks right there. Okay, so we'll get onto the second pile, which the second pile may take a while. That rhymes, that pile might take a while. Oh, and I forgot to show you this dirty prick. This fucking dirty prick had the crazy bikini show in his, uh, in that pile, in all that pile, crazy bikini show, and it was the only fucking movie that no, didn't have the disc in it. The dirty little prick still had it in his fucking DVD player. He was telling his wife that he was selling his fucking crazy bikini show. Fucking dude, fucking leave it in there. Okay, so this uh, second place I went to, I spent $120. I spent $120. Um, they wanted a dollar a DVD, which was wicked price. She had so many. Uh, in the end, I just said, I will take the lot off you for 120 bucks. She took it, I'm happy with that. In the end it worked out to nearly, it's nearly 60 cents um, a DVD. Uh, maybe. So there was 55 single DVDs, 55 single DVDs, 
uh, for that weren't weren't worth shit. So I'm gonna put them with the other ones that I'm gonna take to the market, sell them for 50 cents each, and they will sell. They were like five dollar ones that sell for five dollars on uh, eBay, and I don't have time for that. I don't want to lot them up either, so I'll take them to the uh, market, 50 cents each. So we'll get $27.50 from those 55 uh, DVDs, and they will sell. And whatever doesn't sell, I'll give to the uh, op shops back. We had uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 62. There was 62, 62 Disney films. 62 Disney films. Now, me and Kelly looked through them. They're very good. A lot of them are still plastic wrap. So what we've done is we've categorized them and we have locked them up in lots of 10. Lots of 10, they will sell. So these lots of 10, we're gonna sell for $50 plus they pay for their postage. I'll just give you an example. So 101 Dalmatians, Lady and the Tramp, Lady and the Tramp 2, Brother Bear, Oliver and Company, Bolt, Aristocats, Basil, Mouse Detective, Rescuers, Rescuers Down Under. That's one bulk load that we did there. Fair few of them in there, there's a fair few that are still plastic sealed. So we tried to make cool lots as well, like, uh, Stuff that would um, girls would go for and boys would go for. Uh, so this lot has Frozen, Brave, Pocahontas, Pocahontas 2, Mulan 1 and 2, Beauty and the Beast, Alice in Wonderland, Enchanted, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White. Kind of like a bit of a girls pack that one. A lot of uh, uh, sealed ones still as well. Fucking, why wouldn't you buy that for $50? That is, that is fucking awesome. I'm probably undercutting myself, but that is fucking... But they're gonna pay their own postage as well. So that's, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Five bucks a DVD, really, they're paying. And there's a heap of new ones in there. People are gonna grab these straight away. This was all the odds and ends one. This is one where I had 12 uh, bed knobs and broomsticks, Chicken Little, uh, Meet the Robinsons, Fantasia 2000, Hercules, Pocahontas, uh, blah, 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 all that shit. And that's another 50 bucks one right there, even though there's 12 in it, but they were all the odds and ends ones. Um, so you get the picture, there's uh, three more piles, but this pile was uh, the clever one that we did. Um, and I might not um, do this one straight away. I might not do this one straight away on uh, line until about October, so I'll save this one. But this one, and I'll actually show you these ones because there's so many of these ones in here that are plastic wrap still. So I'm gonna do this one for about 60 to $70. Um, we've got Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas, Mickey's Magical Christmas, Disney's Countdown to Christmas, Disney's Christmas Favorites, Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Christmas, I'll be fucking home for Christmas. Nice sealed one here, fucking Jim Carrey and the Christmas Carol. Sealed as well, freaking uh, Santa Claus and Santa Claus 2. And sealed as well, Disney's freaking Santa Claus 3. So this lot of Christmas Disney ones will fucking sell like that. But we'll wait until October before we post these ones. Uh, definitely wait until October. Or maybe I'll put them out, fuck it. Maybe I'll put them up at 80 bucks and see if anyone has a sniggle. But these will sell straight away. And someone's gonna get a whole heap of Christmas movies for Christmas, and they might fucking hate Christmas movies, and they're gonna get them from their parents, and they're gonna be pissed, but I'm gonna be happy, because I'm gonna have their money in my pocket while they sit there and watch this fucking crap. So there, just another fucking, another pile of tan, another pile of tan. Another pile of 10. This one's actually one of my favorite ones. Sword in the Stone and the Bambies and Lion King 1, 2, 3, Jungle Book 1 and 2. That's a fucking good, that's a, that's a good pile there for 50 bucks. So another lot up that we did, um, we'll do this one for about 40, 50 bucks. We see Scooby-Doo movies only go for about six to eight dollars on there, but a fair few of these are sealed as well. So um, we've got uh, nine Scooby-Doo's nine Scooby-Doo DVDs will turn that into about 40, 50 bucks. Plus they'll pay for their postage as well. Easy sale that one, I reckon. By the time, when I put this video out, none of these are gonna be listed. I'm telling you now, none of these are gonna be listed. It's gonna take me a while to get photos of these and things. So if you do want any of these uh, bundles of Disney ones and all that, I'm not lowering my price, but uh, if, you like, uh, if you like what you see, let me know, give me a message and uh, I'll set you up. I'll quickly take you through um, a whole heap of single DVDs and then there was a whole heap of uh, 
uh, TV series as well. I don't want to bore you too much, but it is a DVD uh, episode, and I do want to show you that you can decently uh, get some good money from all these DVDs. So I'll be trying to be nice and quick for you. Uh, Titanic on Blu-ray will get us 10 bucks. This is new and sealed, this Titanic on DVD, that will get us 10 bucks as well. This is a steel book of Karate Kid, uh, parts 1, 2 and 3. Uh, that will get us 15 bucks right there. A little bit of a tear in the uh, brand new plastic, so I'll have to make a note of that. Uh, the Complete Mr. Bean. The Complete Mr. Bean. Remember I got all these, these were meant... She was going to be selling these for a dollar each. A dollar each, like... That's why I said, fuck it, I'll give you 120 for all of them. So this basically, Mr. Bean, three discs in here, uh, cost me 70 cents. 60 cents, maybe. I haven't even done the math. So that there, you get me 30 bucks. Uh, Homeland on Blu-ray, I should be able to get about 10 bucks for. Dinotopia, this says it's a Video Easy exclusive, so I should be able to get 10 to 15 dollars for it. It's a two disc special Video Easy edition. Uh, this has got Death Race 1 and 2 in it. I should only get about 10 bucks for that on comps. Round the Twist. I don't even know if I want to sell this, to be honest. Everyone in Australia knows Round the Twist. This was on ABC. This was on ABC. There's a fucking lot of discs in there. Such a good show. Such a good show. Um, I actually might keep this, to be honest. But, while I think about it, the completely twisted collection. I should be able to get about 30, maybe 40 bucks for it. I'm going to think about this one. I'll still chuck that in the kitty. Uh, we got American Pie, The Book of Love, but I'm going to lock that up with American Pie, The Five Slices, because it's got part one, two, three, um, band camp, Naked Mile, The Wedding, and all that shit. So, I'll lock that up. That should be about 20 bucks. Should be 15, 20 bucks. Uh, Look Who's Talking, one, two, and three. I'll only get 10 bucks for that. Umbilical Brothers. I don't find these guys funny. I reckon they're dickheads. Um, I'll get 10 bucks for that. Don't go yet, this might be boring, don't go yet, I've got a holy grail at the end, I've got a holy grail at the end! Okay, Fern Gully 1 and 2, I'll get 10 bucks for. A road Trip and Euro Trip, I'll get 10 bucks for. Alvin and the Chipmunks 1, 2 and 3, I'll get 10 bucks for. Mummy Trilogy, I'll get a 10 dollar a 4. It's got the rock in it, you smell what the rock's cooking. A Melbourne Comedy Festival box set, I'll get 10 dollar. Uh, these Walt Disney treasures, uh, Mickey Mouse, I didn't lock them up with the other uh, Walt Disney stuff I had because these ones on comps look very good and people have them priced very high. Don't have the steel books that go with them, a lot of people uh, have got them listed for a couple of hundred bucks with the steel books on them, but uh, just singly like this, uh, looks like they sell for about 40 to $50. dollars um, looks like on comps they're selling for about $35, $40. So I'm gonna undercut every motherfucker and I'm gonna do mine for $30. So $30 for that one, uh, $30 for the Donald Duck one, uh, $30 for this other Mickey Mouse one, and this is still sealed, this Looney Tunes back in action. Not worth really much, but I'll get 10 bucks for it because it's still sealed, so 10 bucks for that one. Maybe $8 though, but 10 bucks is looking like what the go is for me. A Wind in the Willows, got two movies in there, I'll get 10 bucks for that. Devil's Rejects. Devil's Rejects, look out for this uh, movie because not many for sale and it sells. So $15 for this one and people want it. It's a fucking awesome movie. Uh, Puberty Blues, <laughs> that's an Aussie movie, this one, Puberty Blues. I only get 10 bucks for this, it's like a special edition one as well, and I only get $10 for it, so that sucks. Anyway, $10 for that. And Kids, I don't know if you remember this movie, it's an 18 plus movie, Kids. Uh, I remember watching it when I was a kid. So, anyway, that was eight, $8 for that, but that's a bit of a cult classic, if you remember it. So, so far we're doing pretty fucking sweet, uh, from that 100 and you know, from that $20 we spent, made gonna make a shitload from, and from this uh, $120 that we spent, already, uh, you know, I'll put it in the Peel Thunder bag to go take photos of them, and you just, you just know it's money. You just know it's money. All right, we got a little bit left, so don't go anywhere, because, fuck, trust me, trust me. Let me show you the ones that we're keeping. I don't wanna bore you. Let me show you the ones that we're keeping. We're keeping Sword in the Stone. That's still uh, plastic sealed, so that Blu-ray is going to go with our Walt Disney Blu-rays. I had to keep these and I had to show you these. Rocco's Modern Life Season 1. Had to keep that. Rocco's Modern Life Season 2. 
Rocket's Modern Life Season 3. Ah, Real Monsters. Fucking love that show. That's uh, Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, and Season 4. We're keeping those. We're keeping those. We're not selling them. I don't care how much I can get for them. They are nice covers. They're going with our but they're going with our sets. I just wanted to show you those Nickelodeon ones because Our Real Monsters is awesome and Rocco's Modern Life is awesome. Okay, so we've got heaps of TV series now. We're gonna go through the TV series. Uh, not much left to go, but we got my holy grail. Uh, we got these Grand Design DVDs. Um, there's one Grand Design Australia. But these Grand Design series one, two, three, four, six and seven, there's no five, but I doubt I'll ever find uh, that one in the middle there, so I'm just gonna lock these up. And surprisingly enough, these grand design go pretty good. I'll be able to get 70 bucks for these, 70 bucks when I lock them up, so 70 bucks is going in the kitty, man. Uh, pretty Little Liars, uh, season one and two, I should be able to get 10 to 20 dollars for that. I'm only gonna put 10 in the kitty, cause uh, I just don't trust that this is gonna sell very fast, so 10 bucks for the kitty for this one. Plus, it looks like a heap of shit, and I wouldn't fucking watch this even if you paid me. That's what people probably say about this YouTube channel. Uh, Australian Federal Police, uh, season one and two. I should get about 20 bucks on these together, lot it up. Very weird on comps though, these are. Uh, I'm gonna try and price them really, really high. Uh, but we'll just say for now, $20. And same with uh, Recruits, season one and two. Same thing, I'll try and get 20 bucks for them, but I'm gonna lock them very, very high to start off with, just because of comps, there's some weird stuff happening on there with these ones, but uh, I'll be realistic and uh, chuck 20 in the kitty. Uh, we've got some extra family guys, we've got season one, two, season two again, season three, season four, and Blue Harvest. Do I need Blue Harvest in the other one to lot up? I think I do. Um, anyway, doesn't really matter. Anyway, they're gonna go, we're gonna start another Family Guy pile, even though I've got all 10 seasons, plus the extra little episodes. I'm not sure if Blue Harvest I had in there, so that's pretty cool. They're going down, they're not going in the kitty, they're just going down there to the, the lot up section. Uh, we got all the Jackass uh, box set TV series. Um, I should get, I'll get 20 bucks for that, easy. Still got a poster in there as well, so uh, 20 bucks for that, plus they'll pay for their own postage. I'm spewing, I don't have number one, but uh, we've got uh, Disney Have a Laugh number two, three, and four. These go pretty good on comps, and I should get about 40 to $50, believe it or not, for these three lotted up together. Um, I'm not should, I will. I will get uh, about 40 bucks in um, these little cells, so mark my words, I'll uh, show you when I fucking sell these. 40 bucks for the kitty all day long. Uh, I got these Harry Potter movies, uh, all eight Harry Potter movies. Uh, funny enough, they don't go that great bundled up and all that, but uh, you know what? Whatever. This cost me like $4 for all these, it works out, or maybe $3, whatever it works out. Uh, so I'll put these at, uh, oh, this one looks a bit fucking chewed up. That's a bit chewed up, so I'll change that cover. Uh, but I'll only get 20 bucks plus uh, postage for these, so no big deal. Get rid of this Harry Potter. Uh, the Complete Skins. The Complete Skins box set was in here as well. Uh, she was going to charge a dollar. So this is, so this was 70 cents. She didn't charge me by single discs. She was, this was 70 cents. So I'm going to turn 70 cents into 50 bucks here for Skins. Skins never watched it. Not interested. But I'll take your money out of your fucking pocket and I'll uh, go buy McDonald's or some beer and watch the footy. Three more things, three more lots. We got Supernatural, season eight, seven, six, five. Let's not bother going all the way through them. You've all seen this crap before. Uh, so we got one, season one to eight of Supernatural. And I should get plus postage 60 bucks for this. Um, I probably will have some half brain uh, idiots fucking messaging me uh, as we always do on eBay asking for Stupid questions. Stupid, just stupid fucking questions. 60 bucks there. 60 bucks all day long. Damn, I think this is gonna be a long episode, isn't it? We got all the small bills. Every single small bill. Uh, the complete lot. I think I wanna re-watch all of these. I don't know why, but I do. Uh, I think I wanna re-watch them, but it's all good. Um, 
So that's season one to 10, that's really heavy. Um, I'll get 60 to 70, maybe 80 bucks for it, but I'm gonna undercut everyone else and just take 60 plus, probably gonna be $20 postage, because that's really heavy. That's really heavy. So I'll take that, 60 bucks, all the small bills, but I wouldn't mind watching them myself, but when do we have time to watch this shit anymore? Not when you're doing this and you're working for the man. So this last one, this last one, is what caught my eye and why I went to this person's house. I went to this person's house because when I looked at the picture I saw all of these on the shelf. Um, I asked if they could hold them for me and they did for a dollar each and there was 14 of them. Um, but anyway, like I said, I took everything for $120. I looked these up on comps and one lot had sold for $500 from, from disc one to disc 14. $500. Another one had sold for that. I'm putting $500 in the kitty. I'll take $400, but I'm putting $500 in the kitty. Let me show you. Sailor fucking Moon. Have you seen Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon was a cartoon that used to get played for me when I was uh, before I went to school. It's pretty shit, but people love it. We got volume 1 to 14. 1 to 14. Sailor Moon, man. I couldn't believe it when I saw the comps that fucking Sailor Moon sells. So I'm gonna try and get this photographed and listed. I want the money from this, but uh, we got Sailor Moon, one to 14. Comps says 500 bucks. I'm gonna believe comps. I want the 500 bucks of these. If I can turn $14, well actually it wasn't even in up $14. It ended up being bloody like nine or $8. So if I can turn $8 into uh, 500 bucks. And don't doubt me, don't doubt me because I have said this and done it before I've sold stuff that people think that I don't sell and I do sell it everything sells because the kitty doesn't lie this could be I know it was a lot of DVDs and I hope everyone stuck around to watch but this could be my biggest my biggest uh, intake of a pickup especially the local pickup I spent $140 from the two Facebook Marketplace pickups. DVDs add up. When you bulk them up, they sell. When you sell them singly, yeah, you do get a couple of bucks, but when you bulk up all these TV series, they sell. I was lucky to get a shitload of fucking TV series, it doesn't happen all the time, that I can bulk up. A lot of Walt Disney that were new that I can bulk up. Sailor Moon that's fucking red. Stuff like that. You know, everything will sell. Kitty doesn't lie. And I'm going to bring up the kitty because this is the biggest time Kitty's ever fucking appeared. So Kitty, let's bring up the kitty! Ooh. Kitty! Kitty! We spent $140. Bring it up now. Let's not keep everyone waiting. It's been a long episode. Don't forget that 50 cents. That 50 cents is important. Fucking $2,360.50. Kitty, you are turning me on. Kitty. Kitty, you deserve a little snack. You want some kibble? You can have some kibble. You've been a good kitty. Good kitty. Now, fuck off, kitty. Fuck off. Fuck off. Because I've got a lot of work to do here now. So, if all that sells before fees, before tax, before mumbo jumbo shit, I've got to take photos, I've got to list it, I've got to post it. There's still work to be done. It's not all free money. If you're watching it thinking, fuck off, dickhead. No, exactly. Don't think you can go out there and just get it all. You still got to work. You still got to freaking list it and all that crap. You got to post it. You still got to take time. You got to make videos. You got to make sure Kitty is happy with it all. If Kitty's not happy with it all, what the fuck are you? you what, what are you doing this for? If Kitty's not happy, see in the end, this was a damn good pickup. I'm glad I saw it. I'm gotta list this. It's gonna take me a while. Should I take next week off? Um, as in not take work off, uh, but should I take next week off of thrifting? Probably not, but uh, man, now I'm starting to get a death pile, and I don't like having no death pile. So we'll see how we go, we'll see what we do. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been a really long episode. Sorry, guys, because it was basically ride along and show and tell all put into one. Uh, because you couldn't really do a uh, ride along with going to Facebook Marketplace. I'll be back next week. We'll see what happens. Um, cheers, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like. I've got other little bits and pieces coming out. Um, Saturday mornings. Don't forget Saturday mornings. Saturday mornings live. Saturday mornings live, man. Saturday morning live show. Um, and we've got the worldwide of uh, reselling on Sunday afternoons. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to bore you with today. I'll see you next episode, and I'll see you.